Um, and also, they were able to get out of the coiling a lot aggressively. Uh, so this time, I would like to see a little bit more out of shield play, especially at the ledge from um, from uh, from midnight. So ready, starting off, you know, uh, we're going to be seeing one time go through the down throw, not able to get any follow-ups off of it quite yet. Uh, ben, you know, really recognizing the situation that they're in uh, and just resetting as fast as possible. But right now, Shield are not going to be out there for a while, uh, and Buntai has to be able to take advantage of that. Yeah, I've been staying pretty patient. Honestly, like you said, we've seen this match before in these two, they played against the winners. <laughs> Unfortunately, both of these players will find themselves in losers, so we'll see what adaptations Buntai Fan can have has learned from the winner's side matchup between these two. And not drop the bag and go DK, but so far staying really strong on Palatine, immediately getting the dash attack, the back air, and the stage to hold as well. Ooh, right now, Buntai Fan trying to sort the full shulk into the corner, going to be respecting the space, but mixing it up with an auto reticle. Ben getting a little bit too preoccupied with some of those buttons that he was pressing, trying to go through that up there, but Ben just drifting out beautifully. Uh, Buntai not wanting to commit all the way. Yeah, back air. This is good for Buntai fan. Of course, the thing about air slash is two hits. Shulk can opt to go for the first one, but the second one gives Shulk a little bit more elevation and drift towards the ledge. And if you go for that, you have to know that you will have some commitment afterwards because there's end lag, and that's a good back air for Buntai fan. Who shows, and I have to say, right now, Buntai fan's movement is just so effective, so simple. They're moving so efficiently around the stage, able to catch the buff and get up with an explosive flame. That's going to be the down throw. What's going to be the mix up for him? He catches the mixed, uh, the missed tech because, you know, normally that's something you have to be so cognizant of. You have to be like, you know, you have to be aware of the fact that, hey, down throw at this position is going to put me into a tech chase. And wow, a three to one yeah. stock lead. This, this is huge. That down throw tech chase was good too, but also Buntai fan taking advantage of like, once I have my feet on the stage, be patient. You don't always have to try to fight your way towards center stage aggressively. And that patience pays off because it was able to actually take care of Ben Stock and come back on the stage and take game one. Buntai wow. fan. That edge guard was immaculate. That's exactly what you have to be doing against Shulk because uh, the biggest mistake that you can make is like, you know, always thinking to yourself like, hey, that's a, that's a, that's a big old hitbox. I'm going to go ahead and respect that. But you also have to take into mind, take into account, like, the vulnerabilities, right? Uh, the fact that Shulk's head is completely unprotected. Yes. Um, you know, it's it, it's a move that scoops off the side. You know, it's horizontal hitbox is huge. But if you're able to actually get properly above it, uh, you can hit Shulk, um, you know, because he, he is just completely exposed. He has a big blind spot on his head. That's exactly how you also have to be punishing the Lynx who cover these, right? They have really yes. huge dominating hitboxes off the sides but the head is so vulnerable on the way up. Yeah, that, honestly, that was well said, Jamgar, and I think that's a really good textbook for anybody watching the VOD to understand how to punish recoveries like those. We'll see, man. Ben gets another shot here at Buntai Fan, and Buntai Fan starting off excellently strong in the first game. Yeah, I mean, honestly, there's no better way just to basically go in with a, a three stock, really. Uh, so Ben is just playing for a huge back foot right now. One tight fan seems to be getting every single lead, every single commitment. Goes through the down throw into the back here, able to get a bit of damage going. Still able to link it past the shield out, keeps it going, throws Shulk off stage. This is not a good position, baits the low recovery. Um, wow, this is, I mean, I have to say, uh, one tight just has so much momentum right now. Yeah. And it's going to be hard for Ben to try to shut down that momentum of starting and seeing how game one went. But first things first is kind of like how we saw Buntai Fan take care of Jake's favorite opportunity. It's going to be up to Ben to try to call out some of Buntai Fan's favorite opportunities. And that down tilt to back air will be an excellent way just to shut down Ben even off the stage. Uh, only sitting at 51% here in the damage um, deficit, and this lead just keeps on climbing. Shulk just seems to be so uncomfortable at this top, uh, uh, at this top platform. Can't seem to get Palutena off of her, but finally gets a bit of momentum for himself. Ooh. And he had the right idea with that up tilt, but up smash is going to be able to do it. Wow, excellent commitment there. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, gonna okay. be going so deep, but still being able to magnet hands its way back onto the stage. Really excellent spacing uh, on that, you know, good recognition of their own character and what they're capable of. Catch a Shulk when he's vulnerable, and there is nothing that he can do from that position. Not even jump out up, he would have been able to save him. Uh, once Shulk, you know, once Shulk loses his double jump off stage, he has almost no means uh, horizontally to get back on. This can be so big. All right, starting. I was going to say, the little bit of a hit of the neutral air, though. It's got Buntai Fan off the stage. Slipping through the cracks, taking center stage. Forward smash, getting 
Wow. Oh, man. This is looking very rough for Ben. 84% down tilt. And reading the directional. Finds oh, it. Well, I have to say, the way that Buntai was pacing that and positioning themselves was immaculate. The movement was so efficient. Um, you know, honestly, like, Ben was just simply not ready for it. Ben was just 